Electronic imaging, a technological revolution that started 65 years ago, continues to progress at an even more rapid rate. It impacts how we live, how we work, our health, and even world politics. Machine vision is an important part of this revolution. Hi, I'm Perry West, founder and president of Automated Vision Systems. It is truly exciting as a machine vision practitioner to be part of a technology revolution. Your entry into machine vision makes you a participant also. As you think about machine vision technology, you cannot help but realize that it has much in common with many other technologies. Actually, machine vision is part of a much larger overarching field called electronic imaging. Knowing about electronic imaging enables you to be more creative in meeting machine vision demands by borrowing solutions from other technologies. It also expands the opportunities to use what you learn in machine vision in other fields. When you finish this module, you will be able to list four key characteristics of electronic imaging. You'll be able to identify at least a dozen ways electronic imaging serves us. How do we define electronic imaging? Well, anytime we sense an image electronically, store the image electronically, transmit the image electronically, or display the image electronically, we are involved with electronic imaging. Let's look at some of the applications of electronic imaging outside of machine vision. Who is not familiar with television? It has progressed from low resolution black and white to color to high definition and recently to 3D. Television has a major impact on our lifestyle and on how we get information about the world around us. The development of machine vision relied heavily on television technology. Facsimile transmission, or fax, became popular first in Asia as an alternative to teletype transmissions. It quickly spread throughout the world as the most efficient method of sending documents. Some of the imaging and image processing techniques used in machine vision were first perfected for facsimile. Newer electronic imaging technology around computers and the internet is quickly eroding the volume of fax transmissions. We find computer graphic monitors everywhere, in the office, in stores, in homes, and even in the field. They define how we receive and process information. Having the ability to display images of parts as seen by machine vision is an essential component of almost all of today's machine vision systems. Although computer monitors started out as bulky text-only displays, they have progressed into thin, high-resolution displays. And soon, a 3D monitor will be running alongside most computers. Medical imaging has progressed far beyond two-dimensional x-rays. Modern techniques like MRI, CT scans, endoscopy, and ultrasound improve our health care by letting doctors give better diagnosis without exploratory surgery. While medical imaging is usually expensive and complex, there has been significant cross-fertilization between machine vision and medical imaging. Electronic imaging has replaced film for reconnaissance. It makes data available faster and from sources like satellites where film is not a reasonable option. While reconnaissance is often associated with military intelligence, it has progressed to give us much improved weather forecasting, natural resource and crop monitoring. What used to be the exclusive domain of the military is now available to almost everyone through services like Google Earth for that bird's eye view of places, to Zillow for finding real estate values. Reconnaissance is a major driver for high resolution image sensor and optical developments that have application to machine vision. Shhh. 
The autonomous vehicle doesn't require a driver to control it. Our fledgling steps in planetary exploration wouldn't be possible without the technology. Recent DARPA-funded events, the Grand Challenge and the Urban Challenge, have spurred the technology for vehicles used here on Earth. We can foresee the day when our personal cars will automatically drive us wherever we want to go. Autonomous vehicle imaging technology is helping to develop 3D imaging and real-time image processing that apply directly to machine vision. Electronic imaging revolutionized photography and video. It was disruptive, decimating the film industry and transforming how we feel about taking pictures. Where photography used to be relegated to special occasions, now with cameras built into cell phones, most people almost always have a camera with them and take pictures at any time. Along with ease of taking pictures, digital photography changes how we use our pictures. With computers, we can process our pictures easily, making modifications to suit our preferences, and share them instantly by email and websites with family, friends, and colleagues. Digital imaging even transformed high-end applications like movies. Movies are now routinely filmed with digital cameras. This gives the director the ability to review the shots on location and gives much more flexibility to editing the final movie. X-ray imaging and machine vision was established many decades ago. Now, led by dental X-ray technology, medical and industrial X-rays are migrating from using film to electronic imaging. The advantages are lower cost, lower X-ray doses for patients, and less use of chemicals with environmental consequences. X-ray imaging is an important machine vision technology used in industries like electronic manufacturing, tire manufacturing, and food processing. Terahertz imaging has created quite a controversy. It images through clothes to skin or to any electrical conductor like metal. Effectively a strip search without having somebody take their clothes off. Because terahertz is not ionizing radiation, it is preferred over x-rays as being safer for humans. There are scientific applications for terahertz imaging. And although there are no machine vision applications yet, we can foresee those coming. The use of infrared imaging was spurred by reconnaissance. Certain infrared wavelengths are unaffected by water molecules. These wavelengths permit imaging through clouds and fog. When infrared imaging is used to sense the temperature of something, we call it thermography. Thermography is used to look for wasted heat from buildings and homes and to spot potential failures in machinery. It is also beginning to find practical applications in machine vision. Video games started with Pong, followed by games such as Pac-Man and Space Invaders. Today, video gaming is much more sophisticated and a major source of entertainment. Equipment ranges from simple handheld portable devices to very high-end PCs with powerful graphics processors. The gamer's demand for high-speed video rendering gave rise to powerful new processors called graphics processing units, or GPUs that bring new levels of image processing power to machine vision. Vehicle safety is being enhanced with a number of innovative imaging solutions, including cameras that give the driver a better view to the rear, to blind spots on either side of the car, and in front when needed. Imaging also detects driver drowsiness as well as unintended drifting out of a lane. It can help park the car and, using infrared, see further ahead than is illuminated by the headlamps. Automotive imaging must be inexpensive but reliable. We can look for new machine vision technologies 
like new 3D imaging to emerge from its progress. We are all aware of security cameras in businesses, apartments, military and government installations, along highways, and even in homes. While we may feel some discomfort about being watched, the images from surveillance cameras have proven valuable in fighting crime. Security technology, starting with closed circuit television, and now continuing with biometrics and face recognition, is expanding the boundaries of machine vision technology. Conceived as the video telephone in the 1930s, conversing by phone while simultaneously viewing the other person didn't become readily available until the internet and low-cost webcams were developed. Now the video phone is a cell phone and video chatting is seeing a dramatic increase. It is not clear how video chatting will benefit machine vision. But perhaps it will develop the expectation that imaging can be employed everywhere and increase the demand for machine vision installations. Video conferencing is changing the way the world conducts business. Now it is possible to meet with anyone, regardless of where in the world they are, with little advance notice. Business is realizing enhanced communication between project teams and with their customers. At the same time, travel costs are substantially reduced. While the synergy between machine vision and video conferencing isn't clear, it is possible that some surprising abilities could emerge from the combination of the two technologies. Scientific imaging spans an incredibly wide range of imaging technologies. While many are appropriate only for very narrow fields of research, some of these technologies can transfer to machine vision applications. On the other hand, machine vision techniques help scientists understand their images better and lead to new scientific discoveries. Although not industrial automation, laboratory automation uses virtually identical technology, including machine vision, to boost productivity and decrease the possibilities for workers to come into contact with hazardous substances. Astronomers, both professional and amateur, rely on electronic imaging to help them see fainter and more distant objects and to make a high quality record of what they see. Astronomy has helped push the boundary of camera sensitivity and open up new machine vision applications that could not be addressed without this sensitivity. We saw earlier that machine vision is a subset of electronic imaging and we have discussed many other areas that are also subsets of electronic imaging. Most of these technologies have some amount of image processing. However, since image processing is not directly involved with image sensing, transmission, storage, or display, it covers only a portion of electronic imaging. Like most activities in electronic imaging, machine vision draws extensively on image processing. What sets machine vision apart from most of these other activities is the requirement for it to interpret the image, get the final results without human participation. You now know that machine vision is part of a much larger field of electronic imaging. Our technology is shared by many applications that impact our quality of life. We briefly looked at 18 of them. Can you think of other ways electronic imaging is used? How about the future? What new uses for electronic imaging do you think will emerge? Certainly machine vision is an exciting part of this major effort, and it helps improve the quality of life for consumers who enjoy better value in their purchases, as well as for people in industry who enjoy better working conditions. 
Are you ready to be part of exciting developments like you have just seen? Then it is time for you to start your next module.